President Biden's pivotal meeting. We're still waiting to hear from him. The question is, will he convince blue state governors of his lucidity? Big question. The governors could come out at any moment. Of course, we'll take you there when they do. Democrats, meanwhile, their next step, they're doubling down on lawfare. I thought that had ended. I thought it ended yesterday. But no, Dems legal attacks against Trump have been blocked every step of the way. There's that new report from the Washington Post, rather, that came out that suggests Biden's DOJ is all in. They're going to keep it going. Here's what it says. Justice Department officials plan to pursue the criminal cases against Donald Trump past Election Day, even if he wins, under the belief that the department rules against charging or prosecuting a sitting president would not kick in until Inauguration Day. A former Justice Department spokesman for Attorney General Merrick Garland told The Post, quote, I'd expect this Justice Department to be full speed ahead, and they should be. Now, this comes after the Supreme Court's ruling on presidential immunity dealt a huge blow to the legal cases. They forced Judge Mershon to delay Trump's sentencing day to September 18th, adding the language, if such is still necessary, they may not even need the sentencing. And CNN, of all places, they put a fork in Jack Smith's case. It's um, a big, big victory for Donald Trump. It means that the January 6th case, the case before Judge Chutkin in, in the District of Columbia, is at a minimum delayed until after the, tr after the election, but I think will never be tried. Joining me now, John Laura, attorney for former President Trump. John, it's, it's great to have you. You know, I'm stunned. I, I declared lawfare dead yesterday in the wake of all the cases. And then all of a sudden this piece pops at 6.03 p.m. and Justice yes. Department officials yeah. are saying we're doing this to Inauguration Day? It doesn't surprise me. In November 2022, President Biden went on TV and said if President Trump runs, he's going to do everything he can, everything in his power to prevent President Trump from becoming president again. And then we have all of these lawsuits around the country, uh, including in the Department of Justice. So it doesn't surprise me that that's the tactic. In fact, just the other day, President Biden said unequivocally he wants this case to go to trial before the election because he's losing, he's suffering from dementia, he's in deep cognitive decline, and his only hope is a trial before the election. It's, it's pretty astounding. I would hope that whoever is running the White House right now take a second look at this case and dismiss it for the good of the American people and the country. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, the American people should vote, not, you know, have someone subjected to lawfare, but that's what's happening. You work on the January 6th case. Yes. We heard Jeffrey Tubin say it's dead as a doornail. We've heard John Yu told me that. Everyone I've asked, every great legal mind says it never happens. What say you? You work on it. Well, here's the thing. The Supreme Court issued a brilliant opinion. And they said, you can't prosecute a president for being president. And President Trump was being prosecuted for faithfully executing the laws of the country and protecting election security, from, from our view. Um, so as a result, there's going to be hearings, there's going to be legal argument, there's going to be all kinds of briefing. Um, I suspect this may go back up to the Supreme Court in the next couple of months or years. So the, the idea that Joe Biden can get his way and get this election settled in a, in a jury box instead of a ballot box is just not going to happen. John, thank you. We really appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.